In terms of our results, yes, we, as you said, our growth uh, of our net profit by over 18% in the first half. But, you know, with some market headwinds, we've seen a little bit of volume drop in our retail business. But overall, a really strong set of results in terms of gross margin growing, uh, strong growth in our initiatives around our convenience stores, uh, where we have developed a, a further set of convenience stores, and also grown our, our networks. So a resilient set of results in terms of no complacency, uh, but a strong set of results in terms of uh, on track with our initiatives. And John, when we look at the total fuel volumes, a decrease of about 1%, do you expect that decrease to continue? And is this a result of any dent in demand due to higher oil prices trickling through? I think we've seen a little bit of a dent in demand in the first half, and I think you know, for the remainder of this year, we see uh, that, that, that being probably consistent with that. However, what we've seen also across the UAE with the higher oil prices is significant investment coming from the government, uh, mm. significant investment across Abu Dhabi and the whole region. So we're very confident uh, for the medium term, but want to make sure that you know, we focus on our initiatives. As you said earlier, cost control is very important, our capital control, our cost control is really important within that. So, you know, conservative for this year in terms of our volumes, but, but, but ambitious and, and, and hopeful for the future. And John, speaking of investment, can you give us an update here on your own expansion plans? You flagged before expanding into Saudi Arabia and achieved a license to do that. Can you give us an update on any discussions with partners there and when you expect to hit the ground running? Yes, so our expansion plans, firstly across the UAE, uh, we talked about moving um, and expanding across the UAE, in particular in Dubai, and we've made very, very good progress in that. We've got sites that we will be opening in the, in the coming months across Dubai, which gives us a, a stronger platform for our customers across the UAE. And as you said, in Saudi Arabia, we've, we've gained our license. We're in talks with a number of, uh, of partners and, uh, and, and people in, the, in Saudi Arabia to ensure we develop that market in a, in a, in a strong, uh, but responsible way as well. So, you know, good progress, uh, but a lot more to come. Is it your hope that the talks with potential partners in Saudi Arabia come to a deal in this half of the next year? The next half, I should say? I mean, so our, our, our um, ambition is to have a position in Saudi Arabia, a, a good position, uh, working with those local partners. So we're making good progress. We're, we're not in a rush. We want to make sure the progress is, is the right progress for our business and uh, for the market. So we're hopeful, but, but we're not uh, in any way desperate to move too quickly. And John, just finally, you've also flagged strong cash flow. For the latest quarter, how does this put you in a position for shareholder returns in the form of a dividend? So in terms of uh, the dividend policy, clearly we have a very progressive dividend policy that was outlined by the board. Uh, we have strong investment opportunities. We talked about the growth a few moments ago. Uh, those are issues and, and conversations that we have uh, with the board continuously. What's great about the first half is we go in and come out of that with a very strong position on our cash, as you say. So we have many options, uh, but really ensuring that we give our shareholders the returns, and in particular our customers, uh, the benefit of that is really important to us. Hey everybody, it's Hadley Gamble from our new CNBC Middle East Bureau in Abu Dhabi. Thanks for stopping by. Now to watch more, you can try one of the videos that just popped up on your screen. And don't forget to subscribe.